Well, how excited are you for this opportunity that you got? Thrilled. Thrilled for this opportunity for this football team. Um, thrilled to be in the position that I am and taking on this role. And uh, um, just thrilled to be down here in Florida. And as far as the game actually goes, I know last time we talked to Coach Klein and he said he hadn't had a lot of conversation with you, but you guys kind of have a plan as far as you, I know you're down on the field normally. Is that kind of the uh, thing you're going to stay with for, for this game? No. Um, Coach Kleiman and I did have a discussion, and I would anticipate uh, going up to the going up to the box. How does that kind of change um, what it looks like for you guys as a staff? Well, from a staff perspective, the biggest concern that I have is uh, just not being around that offensive line in between series, and um, and just in ensuring that we need to communicate. Um, with our coaches down on the field, uh, any adjustments, any corrections that need to be made throughout that game, any type of uh, um, emotional settling, if you will. Um, that's probably my biggest concern. You know, you have an opportunity to see things a little bit better up in the booth. Uh, you have an opportunity to remove yourself a little bit from the emotion of a game up in the booth. And I think that provides an opportunity to get the uh, the next call out there. What uh, what has impressed you most about how Avery has prepared going in knowing that he's, he's, he's the guy for later this week? The thing that has impressed me the most about Avery has been how ready he is for this moment. So when you look at opportunity and preparation, he didn't begin preparing that Monday after the Iowa State game. He's been preparing for this moment since he's been here. And his knowledge, his desire to continue to grow with a little bit different of a voice in that front room, um, a little bit different of a voice from a play caller standpoint, uh, has been extremely impressive. The maturity of this young man is off the charts. You really can't say enough about who he is as a young person. And then as far as, obviously you guys feel good with DJ, running back wise, but behind him, who has kind of stepped forward to kind of fill that, that next in line. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a committee. You know, I, I really like how young Joe Jackson has continued to prepare and how much he's continuing to improve. Does he have a baseline knowledge of our entire offense that you feel you can put him in um, relative to this situation or that situation? Um, we'll see how these next few days play out. Uh, James White has done a phenomenal job, and then Jordan Shippers, you know, has been a, uh, um, he's just been a workhorse since the moment he's been here. As far as you go, I know you talked about talking and communicating with that offensive line, but having that veteran group has got to have made this transition a little bit easier for you. Having that veteran group has made these past two weeks so much easier. The maturity of that group, their knowledge, um, their support and their uh, their motivation to me has been uh, absolutely nothing short of inspiring and I could not be grateful enough to be standing in front of that room. Is there kind of something poetic about you getting this opportunity and I mean this is their last game as at K-State it's going to be pretty cool. It is really cool it's actually even emotional we talked um, earlier this morning, we said uh, quite often it's the last Tuesday of the week in our preparation. And, uh, you know, I, I told them it's, it's the last Tuesday of the year. And for a few of them, it's the last Tuesday of their career. And uh, um, just cannot say enough about how much those young people have meant to me over the last five years. As far as play calling goes, what, what, what's gone into the preparation for you for this week? I'm sure that's been kind of a lot of things that you've had to try to get your arms around in the past several weeks. Yeah, there's <laughs> been, there's certainly been some challenges. Um, you know, Coach has done a phenomenal job of, even before we really dove into this week's opponent, of doing some good on good. And uh, I think laughed as I had to climb a ladder uh, very reluctantly to uh, call a game or call a situation 
from uh, up from our film booth in the in, uh, indoor facility. So again, this is a moment that I've been preparing for uh, my entire career, and um, you know, there's there's still there's still a whole difference between uh, um, your preparation and then getting out and doing it. But over these past few weeks, we've had those opportunities of what we call uh, a call it session. Do you have any people in, in your past that, that you know that call plays that you've leaned on that you've talked to you about kind of this opportunity to get advice from or bounce ideas off of? Yeah, there's actually been quite a few. And um, one of them is uh, one of my best friends and that's Colin Klein. And uh, um, the support that, uh, uh, that he's shown me and the uh, um, reassurance that he's shown me um, for this opportunity has been nothing short of fantastic. But, you know, between Coach Kleiman, who I've been with for 10 years, and coaches that I've crossed paths with uh, in, the, uh, um, in the past, including my own college football coach, who's you know 73 years old, and uh, his advice was a little bit more blunt. You know, um, he said, "Don't screw it up." Uh, he used a different word, but uh, um, I love him. So yes, I have leaned on a few. Um, few of the people in the business that I really respect. Time for one more. As far as the offensive skill position players go, I know you talked about Joe, but is there really anybody else that fans can look for to maybe make an impact? Yeah, it's relative. Are you referring more to the young guys? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we've seen a taste of what Jace can do. And I think we all know what Avery can do. I'm really excited to see uh, Garrett Oakley continue to step up into a um, into a larger role, and you know Trey's shown some really good things as well. And what we want to continue, and I visited with him last night, is just consistency and taking some of the pressure off of himself. Uh, you know, Keegan not necessarily being young, but uh, more new. Um, excited for an expanded role with him. Uh, along with uh, along with a few others.